Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from the Automator, and in this video we're going to show you how to launch a program as an admin. Now, we just made a tool, well, you can get the URL above my head here, on how to understand if this is something you might want to do, but this video is just going to be a nice short video on how to launch your tool as an admin. So stick around and you're going to see, um, we're also going to demonstrate the tool just to show you how it works, but this is just to create the um, tool to launch it as an admin. Right. So sometimes what you want to do for some, for whatever reason, you need to run a program as an admin. And uh, let me show you more or less the easiest way to do it. Is, and, and and kind of like the, the safer way to do it. If you have any program which has an executable, you just right click on it, send to desktop or whatever you want to do. The, the point is that you want to create a shortcut. That's basically you it. Could, you can drag. You, could, you can drag and drop it. Yeah. So you can, you can use the old key while you're dragging you can press the alt key and it would create a shortcut as well when you let go but you click and drag and release and it'll say do you want to as well it? yeah like for example if you right click and drag it would actually ask you in the end what you want to do either move it or create shortcuts whatever you want to do but in general the point is you have a shortcut and that's the one that you want to modify because the executable itself cannot be modified this particular way now if you right click on it Usually you have the option to run as administrator, right? But that would only run it that one time. And every time you have to run as admin. What you might want to do is go to the properties tab here, go to advanced and select the option to run as admin. After you save that, every time you double click on the file, it would be run as administrator. So that particular say setting of running as admin gets saved into the shortcut itself. Now, the reason why we're showing this particular version of it is because sometimes, so for example, if I want to have a program here, um, you look for it on the on the menu or whatever location it is, and it, this usually is a shortcut. If you right click on it, you have the option to run as administrator, right? But what happened was that we had an issue with certain programs that when we tried to run as admin, it actually asked me, do you want to run as admin? Yes, I ran it. But then it was not running as administrator for some whatever reason. Uh, so uh, it was a little bit uh, baffling at first. We then figured it out. Um, I want to tell you something. If the program is already running, like for example, if I have Zoom running right now and I try to run as administrator, maybe it will not actually just relaunch it. It will not close the existing one and relaunch as, a, as admin. So maybe something like that was happening. But in general, this is the reason why I would just simply modify it. If you are here, you can just uh, right click the, um, the app itself. Oh, this time I don't have that option, but sometimes there are some tools that when you right click on them, you have the option to go to more and it gives you some additional properties for them, but I don't see them right now. So when, when you have the properties of the file directly, then you go ahead and do what I'm, ah, here. When you right click on the icon, it gives you the option to the properties, which would take you straight to where I was talking about, which is the advanced and run as admin. So in general, just keep that in mind. If you are uh, trying to run a, a program as admin, you would do that. And this particular tool, what it does is that it checks whether the program was being run as administrator or not. So basically right now, if I run my tool, it would give me a list only of the programs that have been run as administrator mode. And if you want to go ahead and verify, so if I run something as administrator, it would go ahead and show up in this list if it was run as admin. If it was not run as admin, for whatever reason, then it would not do that. So let me let me show you a real quick example of that. Let me go ahead and see if I could just run Notepad. So I have Notepad as the normal version. Right now, you will notice that Notepad is not in my list because it's not an admin. And then if I try to run it as admin, whatever, for whatever reason, you will see that one instance of Notepad is admin, and that's because this one is. So just to, this tool gets you a, a, a very easy start to figure out whether what you did was correct or not, and it would just list it there really quickly. So, yeah, so just remember, 
when you right click an executable or a shark and, and just say run as admin from there, it's that instance only. And most people, right. when you're doing this, you want it to stick, right? And that's right. what we're showing you. Well, just create a shortcut to it, go to the properties, check that box, and that way it, it stays sticky. And then every time you use that shortcut, now if you still go to the executable and run it, it doesn't, it won't be no, an admin. exactly. You use that shortcut. And, and, and only that shortcut. So if you have right. three shortcuts, if you have three shortcuts to the same pro file and you only set one of them, one of them is going to launch it in admin. The others are going to launch the program normally. So you have to keep those things in mind. Which is what's great about our tool is you can just say, well, wait a minute, you know, I swear I launched this as admin. It'll it'll show you if it actually is running as an admin or not because otherwise right. it's not easy to check. All right. That is right.